Hey guys, welcome back to another What's For Dinner. My name is Mandy. It has been a while since I've done a What's For Dinner. And just to let you know, these meals were not made all in the same week. So our first meal was a meal that I kind of came up with on my own. I did use this marinade. It was a lemon garlic marinade and I can't remember where I got it from. I think I purchased it from Publix maybe or Thrive Market. I honestly don't remember. But what I'm doing here is sprinkling some salt and pepper on this tilapia and then I have a baking dish to the side and I'm gonna put each piece of fish down into that marinade dressing. And I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate for probably about 30 minutes. You don't wanna do it too, too long. And then I'll just pour the rest of the marinade on top of the fish just to make sure it's nice and covered by the marinade. So now that the fish has marinated, I am going to be dredging it through these pork panko crumbs. This is fried pork rinds, and this is what I'm gonna be using as a bread crumb. Then I'm gonna be placing it into the air fryer and frying the fish that way. And y'all, this was so good. I love when an idea actually turns out and it's really good. So I have to definitely figure out where I bought that marinade from and purchase some more so I can make this meal again. Like I said, it was really, really good. So I'm gonna be using my Alec Holmes air fryer and I'm gonna be using the fish setting. It is set at 360 degrees for 16 minutes and then I just push start and let it go. And in my instant pot, I have some rice going and then on the stove top, I have some green beans with a little bit of bacon grease in it. So this was Jason's plate and this is what I fed the kids because they are not fans of fish our next meal was so good this was the recipe that came from my mother-in-law it is sloppy joes or manwiches whatever you want to call it so i just use a can of spicy v8 juice the first thing i did was brown my hamburger meat and then i added in some minced garlic and some red pepper if you had green a green bell pepper you could use that and i also put some chopped up onions in there and you just let that brown really good add some salt and pepper if you want and then i add in the v8 juice and it has to be the spicy just to give you that kind of spicy taste that is in the manwich. So then I'm just gonna mix it up and let it cook a little bit. I don't want to use flour to thicken it up. So I'm using xanthan gum. You can use flour if you want. I didn't wanna have the added extra carbs. Jason wasn't home just yet. So the tater tots was for Bella. The french fries were for Amelia and then I had broccoli bites and I'm also having mine on some keto bread and I'm using my little toast stand. I will put that in the air fryer and toast up the bread. So the kids and Jason actually had their manwiches on a hot dog bun because Mama Maida fell and ordered the wrong kind of buns whenever I made my grocery order. The next meal was a mommy surprise meal. I had no idea what I was gonna cook that night. I wasn't in the mood for whatever it was on the menu plan. So I cut up some onions and minced garlic and my sausage that I like to use. I fried that up in a pan and then I put in some scrambled eggs 
and mixed it all up and that was dinner. So tonight's dinner is pork tenderloin. I've had this in the freezer for a while and I don't even remember what seasoning is on it or <laughs> I have no idea. It smells really good. I think I might have bought it with the seasoning already on it, but I honestly don't know. I have no idea. But I'm gonna actually do this in my air fryer. And then last weekend I prepped some rice. I'm just gonna warm up some of this for the girls and Jason. And then I'm gonna steam some of this broccoli. I'm gonna have this with some queso cheese dip on top. And so I'll have the broccoli and the tenderloins and I'm really craving fried eggs again. So last night we had steak and eggs. Tonight I am craving fried eggs again. So I think I'm gonna fry up a couple of eggs. What I'm gonna do first is preheat the air fryer. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna preheat it for five minutes. I'm going to put the pork tenderloin in. I'm gonna cook it on 400 degrees for about 22 minutes but halfway in between i'm going to check the temperature to make sure i don't overcook it and that will be dinner i'm excited i've never done the pork tenderloin in an air fryer before so i'm excited The pork tenderloin was a hit. It was very good in the air fryer, very tender. They were juicy, very good. So if you have an air fryer and you wanna fix some pork tenderloins, definitely do them in the air fryer. Okay, so last night we had, not last night, the night before last we had steak on the grill and they the kids had baked potatoes and i can't remember what i had collie rice i think but with the leftover steak we're gonna have some steak fajitas so i just have some bell pepper cut up onions and a little bit of garlic i already have my uh, ghee in my pan getting hot so i'm gonna put all of the veggies in start sauteing those and then i'll put the garlic in and then i'm going to cut up the uh the big chunk of steak here slice it a little bit and then toss that in there just to kind of warm it up. And then I have a little bit of romaine lettuce. I'm gonna cut that up and I have a tomato over here and some cheese and that is gonna be dinner tonight. Steak fajitas. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this taco seasoning that I made uh, a couple weekends ago, just to give it a little bit of a taco flavor. these new tortillas I've never had this brand before they are four grams of net carbs so what I'm gonna do um, I have not had a whole lot to eat today uh, just I was really busy with work and running behind and I didn't have time to pull over and eat so um, I'm gonna go ahead and have two of these so that'll be eight net carbs um, for the tortillas so what I'm gonna do just to kind of get them warmed is put them on this plate and then I'm gonna take a paper towel, I'm gonna to wet it and put it, wring it out and then put it over top of this. And then I'm gonna pop it in the microwave just for a few seconds and that'll keep it um, 
the the moist paper towel will help kind of like steam these and warm them up instead of drying them out and getting crispy. They'll be nice and um, just warm, not, not crunchy or anything. Are what my fajitas look like and oh my goodness they're huge that is the size of my hand I think I should have started out with just making one and then if I was still hungry make the second one there I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all of that but that is dinner quick and easy So the next meal was actually a meal kit from Aldi. It was a pork roast. It had the potatoes, onions, carrots, and celery, and then a little seasoning packet. And it was pretty easy to make. You just put everything in a crock pot. I'm using my Instant Pot, but I use the uh, crock pot setting on it. So you just put the seasoning over top of everything, put your veggies in, and cook it for seven to eight hours on low and it was done it wasn't too bad i think if i were to get it again i would probably add a couple different spices maybe maybe a little extra salt i'm not sure it just seemed like it was missing something you know how whenever you try a recipe it's like you just can't put your finger on it but you know that it's missing something <laughs> but it was pretty good for the price and everything it was pretty good the kids liked it so yeah I mean it was I would definitely get it again but I would add a little more spices to it To go along with the pork roast, I just used the Jiffy corn muffin mix and made some cornbread in my iron skillet and that was dinner. I hope that you guys enjoyed this What's For Dinner. Like I said, I know it's been a while since I've done one. I'm trying to get back onto my schedule of doing a What's For Dinner every Sunday. Um, I just, I really enjoy doing these, but sometimes I just like to take a break. So. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You got that something that can't be seen. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling. It's not your jeans. No, what you got is deeper within.